In this training, we're going to take a look at formulas, count, and roll up fields inside of SmartSuite. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Formulas, counts, and roll ups are very powerful features inside of SmartSuite. And most of the time, they'll relate to linked records. So when we actually have connected one app to another app and linked records across those apps, that's when counts and roll ups, and especially some of the more advanced formulas, are going to come into play. Let's go ahead and hop on into my screen and take a look one at a time at these different field types. First and foremost, notice that I have a app here called clients and I have a fake client called the Acme client who's connected to three different orders over here in my order app you can see those three different orders and of course Acme client is the linked relationship here so there are some things that we might want to do from the client perspective for example if we want to know the number value for how many different orders this client has placed with us over time that would be something we could calculate with the count field Effectively, what we would want to do there is count the number of orders that exist in that linked relationship field. So in order to produce this, we'll just create a new field and call it count. It's one of those more advanced field types. And here, this is going to be the count. And you'll notice that we have the option to tell it what linked relationship we want to examine. In this case, we only have the one link to orders in this particular app. So that's the linked relationship we will use. We can also choose to include filters and to include labels here inside of the count field. And we can also change the display format by affecting the color. Once we're happy with these settings, we can add this field and we're going to notice that what is showing up here is the numeric value for the number of linked relationships here. If we were to remove one of these links, then obviously this count number will also be altered by whatever changes we make. Let's go ahead and bring that order back in here and relink it and we'll see the count tick back up to three. Now the roll up field is very similar to the count field, except that it's also going to perform some sort of aggregation function on top of just a simple count. So let's go back into our orders and put in maybe a total for these orders. We'll use the currency field to denote the total of each of these orders. This order perhaps is $1,000. This next one will make 2,000 and the last one we will make 3,000. If we want to know how much this particular client has spent with us, it's not enough just to add up the number of orders they've placed. We need to look at the number total for each of those orders and sum all of them. So let's go back to our clients app here and we can build this with a rollup function. So the rollup field, we'll add it in here and we'll change the name to total spend because it's the total amount that this client has spent over multiple orders. We're examining a linked relationship. So in this case, we're looking at the link again to the orders and we're choosing what we want to roll up. In this case, it's the currency field that we just built inside of our orders app. So once I'm looking at the currency field, now we can choose what sort of aggregation or roll up function we want to perform. And in this case, we'll choose some. But notice that we have some other options as well, like average, min, max, or range. So I'll keep it at sum and we'll add this field. And so this value is now calculating the total spend in all of these orders by summing them up. So if we flip back to the orders again and we look at this, we have 1,000 plus 2,000 plus 3,000, which of course is 6,000. All of these are linked to the same client. So that's what this is doing. It's looking at those three currency fields in these linked orders and giving us a summation of them. Now, formulas are even more capable than the count and roll up fields. Formulas are practically limitless in what they can calculate for you based on information that you have here. Now, SmartSuite has put together some awesome resources for you in terms of an intro course and also an advanced course specifically for formulas. Let's just suffice to say at this point in time that the formula fields are able to calculate values for you and you can even reach into different apps wherever you have another linked relationship. So for example, here I have my clients app linked to my orders app and they're in the same solution, but it's possible inside of SmartSuite to link to apps that are in different solutions as well and to have those formulas calculate based on the values that they find through that linked relationship. If you're interested in learning more about formulas, do check out the intro and advanced formula courses that SmartSuite has put aside. 
If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comments section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.